Welcome to Cisco 103, introducing routing and switching in the enterprise. This is Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 1.1.2, observing the traffic flow in an enterprise network. Okay, as you can see, we have certain objectives we're going to meet. The first one is to develop an understanding of the basic functions of Packet Tracer. So, let's go ahead and get started here. going to do is select end devices in the lower left hand corner and we're going to go to the computers I'm going to put out three computers PC0, PC1 and PC2 the next thing we're going to do after we put the computers out is put a switch out so we're going to go down here find the switch button and we want a 2950-24 switch so that's out of there now let's go ahead and make the screen a little bit more user friendly here so we can see everything so we've got the three PCs and we have the switch ready next thing we're going to do is connect each of them with a copper straight through cable so I'm going to come over here and click on connections and we're going to need to scroll over to the copper straight through cable put it from PC0 fast ethernet to switch 0 fast ethernet 0 1 next thing we're going to do is another copper straight through cable from PC1 fast ethernet over to fast ethernet 0 2 and then the last thing is to get PC2 connected with fast ethernet over to the switch with fast ethernet 03 so each of the PCs are connected with the switch now now we're going to configure each of the PCs with <coughs> IP address subnet mask and a default gateway let's start with PC0 go to the desktop and IP configuration go ahead and put in the IP address 192.168.1.10 toggle down to the default gateway it's in for us and I mean the subnet mask pardon me now the default gateway 192.168.1.1 and we have PC0 properly configured next thing we're going to do is go to PC1 repeat the steps go to the desktop IP configuration let's type in 192.168.1.11 so this is different than the other one next we'll go to the subnet mask toggle that in and then the default gateway is the same as the other two 168.1.1 and PC1 is configured. The last thing we're going to do is go over to PC2, go to the desktop, IP configuration, and configure that computer, and that's going to be 192.168.1.12. Toggle down the subnet mask, go down one further to the default gateway. 192.168.1.1 all, right. all three computers have been properly configured next step we're going to do is observe the traffic flow we see that each of the green lights are on so that the traffic is flowing from the switch to the computers now we're going to try something a little different we're going to switch to the simulation mode which is right in back of the clock in the lower right hand corner of the um, icon here and so we've got to the to the uh, simulation mode and the next thing we're going to do is select the edit filters button and we're going to click the show all none and that eliminates all of the different um, uh, filters 
So what we want to do is click only ARP and ICMP. We've got that. So just those two. Okay. And we click the edit ACL filters there. And next thing we're going to do is make the screen a little bigger. And we're going to click on this envelope and take it over to PCO. And then we're going to hold on. There we go. And click on another envelope to PC2. And you can see right in the top of PCO two different color envelopes are there. That shows the ARP tables, the ARP and the ICMP. And if you see here, you're able to see the traffic moving across the network. And if you wanted to slow it down, there's a horizontal bar underneath the auto capture play icon or button. So we slow it down by going back. You can see the traffic start to go a little slower. Okay. And I want to speed it up and we go to the right. You can see the traffic going a little faster. So we're going to select auto capture play and see how all the all it goes. And you can see the different packets going to the different um, PCs. You can see PCO and PC2 communicating. But an odd thing happens with PC1. When they try to send packets up to it, it, it uh, gets a, a X, X mark. So let's check to see what that might be. Okay. Now let's see how this goes. We're checking to see if the Oh, there it is. The buffer is full. So we have to click on that. And it doesn't want to go off. So let's try it again. There we go. So we're going to clear the events. And now we're going to go check the different ARP tables. First of all, let's go to PC0. And click on Command Prompt. I'm going to click in ARP minus A. And sure enough, the IP address for PC1 comes up. Or PC2, I mean third PC. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to click the PC2 and we're going to click on the command prompt and we'll see what happens there. ARP space minus A and sure enough comes up PC0. Now though we're going to try PC1. See what happens there. ARP and nothing comes up because nothing was distributed to PC1 so that makes total sense so that's why PC1 is empty okay now we're going to check the results to see if we were successful in our don't see anything I don't know where that thing went to okay let's try it again check results it says congratulations on completing this activity so we were successful so yay and that ends Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 1.1.2 observing the traffic flow in an enterprise network.